dropped a new album but not just Beyonce dropped a new al album the Carters <laughs> dropped a new album uh, welcome to my channel I am Jordan and where were you when the Beyonce and Jay-Z album dropped I was about to rinse my hair out and wash it and get it nice and good but then they want to drop an album so I had to stop everything I was doing and listen and oh my gosh so Skinny on the album. It is called Everything is Love. It is featuring none other than Beyonce and Jay-Z. Um, and it is nine tracks of pure beauty. It is a love album, at least in my perspective. I think it is. I mean, it's called Everything is Love. Um, not your typical love album. It's like a vibey. I mean, there's twerking songs you could twerk to, songs you could vibe to, songs you could feel. And I just you know i really enjoyed it nine tracks again this is my initial reaction to it um yeah uh so there's one out um song that has already been released as far as a, like a video to it and that is um apes and it was shot in the freaking louvre and yeah that alone is beyond here and that's a separate video probably um, but y'all need to watch that. That is crazy. Like, only Beyonce and Jay-Z could shut down the Louvre. And if y'all have ever been to the Louvre, it's massive. It's crazy. It's extensive. So much art in there. But if you have been to the section where it's Africa, it's interesting because Egypt and Africa are separate. Well, I should say Egypt is not a part of the rest of Africa. Africa is like in the basement, the smaller section. And it's just interesting. That's all I'll say. It's just interesting. But I love the Louvre. Louvre is gorgeous. But there's aspects where, you know, it's just interesting. So I thought it was really dope to have all those black bodies uh, in the Louvre. And it was, you know, it, there's for many reasons it's interesting um, and beautiful. And they slayed, of course, looked amazing. But let's get to the album. Um, the album off my first listen, because I've only listened to it once. My favorite song is The Black Effect which I'll play a snippet actually. Let me play a little snippet for ya. And there's love of humanity. That's the love that is right now needed most, love of humanity. But in everything, in all of that love, there is It's like when you take some eggs and break them. And you, and you and take this shit. LeBron James to you, Amorosis. Dapper Dan at 4 a.m. shit, I am the culture. I made my own way, so now they anti tight I'm living in I'm good on any MLK Boulevard. Just see my vision with a tech bitch, I'm not the next. They was treading my effect, they want that guy's effect. Get your hands up high, like your house in last time. So that kind of gives you an idea of that um, song and yeah, I just think it's interesting because the whole album is about the different facets of love, like love of their children, you know, blue. There's one song part where I never seen a ceiling in my life. Blue is quoted on the album. Um, you know, there's love of humanity. There's love of the people, love of each other. And they talk about them overcoming their issues and creating love and music. And I just I feel like I felt more just I feel like I enjoy the album mostly because, you know, it's dope to feel their passion. Like they're both so talented, so brilliant. And, you know, Beyonce's literally a genius, a musical genius, a giant. Um, been loving her since Destiny's Child and when she broke off solo. And, you know, to see her evolution, her growth, no one in the biz is doing what she does. And she's just on a whole nother level. And Jay-Z in his own right, he is on a whole nother level in his rap game, you know? Um, you know, I've never been the biggest Jay-Z fan, um, probably from a bad situation I saw when I was in high school um, during a concert. You know, I just, I always felt like he's so arrogant, so cocky, but I feel like the older I get, the more I'm like appreciating his confidence and his evolution and his growth himself. Um, but to say all that, I was thoroughly surprised that I actually probably enjoy Jay-Z even more on the album. Like a lot of the lines that stick out to me are from him and um, I really appreciated it. And I'm so excited, even more excited for the concert. Um, Beyonce be messing with you. I just accepted the fact that 
we are not gonna get um, a new album, we're not gonna get new music, and then they drop it like this. So I'm pretty flabbergasted um, and overwhelmed, to say the least. But yeah, um, I just love the album. The way it starts with the summer um, song, that snippet that I played in the intro, it sets the tone and it's just, oh, when she's singing, you just feel it. It's like R&B and rap and trap and all sorts of amazingness. And I just enjoyed it so much. <laughs> But I will stop rambling. Um, what was your initial reactions to it? Are you excited? Um, will you be seeing them on the tour? And what type of feels did it give you guys? All right. Well, I'll see you guys in my next one. Love and light. And deuces. <laughs> Love of a partner. All of them have a different shape, but all of them is the same in the end. It's about sensitivity. It's about passion. It's about unconditional giving of self to a, another person. And there's love of humanity. That's the love that is right now needed most. Love of humanity.